In this video, we're going to kick off our discussion of alignments by getting into just a general introduction of what alignments are and how we can create them. So inside of Civil 3D, what alignments are is they are kind of the backbone of creating corridors or roadways. They don't necessarily have to be the center line of a road, but they are going to be used to help build roadways inside of Civil 3D. In order to create alignments, what you have to do is you have to navigate up to the home tab of the ribbon bar in the create design section. Top middle is going to be the alignment drop down button. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to drop down alignments and we're going to walk through all the different creation methods. So the alignment creation tools is the first choice. That's like any of the, the other creation tools options inside Civil 3D. The points creation tools, the parcel creation tools, feature line creation tools, or grading creation tools. Basically, you're going to pull up a toolbar that is going to allow you to use different parameters to create an alignment inside of Civil 3D. Then we have our kind of more automatic uh, alignment creation methods. Uh, so we have a create best fit alignment, which creates an alignment based on it, the best fit of some line work to be done between a set of points that you specify. Then we have create alignments from objects. So you can take ob objects inside of AutoCAD or Civil 3D, like we did for our feature lines, and you can create an alignment from that. So you can use lines, arcs, and polylines to lay out an alignment that you want to have, and then take those objects and convert them over to an alignment. The next option we have is create alignments from corridor. What that does is it's like our create feature lines from corridor, moving along to the network parts and pressure networks. When we create pipe networks inside of Solidity 3D, whether they be gravity networks, sewage networks, or pressure networks, what you can do inside of Solidity 3D is you can use those networks to create alignments. So you, and you would end up selecting the objects in those networks and then assign them as the kind of the the center line of where our alignment would be created from those objects. The next option is create alignments from existing alignments. So we would take an existing alignment and create a new alignment based off of that existing alignment. Then we have a more specific creation of alignment based off of existing alignments, which is create offset alignments. So we can create left and right offset alignments based on a parent alignment. And then we can dictate that those alignments have dynamic links to not only the horizontal alignment of that roadway, but also uh, it can have a dynamic link to the parent profile associated with that alignment. Along similar lines, the create connected alignments does kind of the same thing. However, it doesn't require that it has to be an offset alignment. So you can create a new alignment that has a dynamic link to an existing alignment so that they will interact with each other, profiles will work with each other, and uh, the horizontal information will work with each other as well. So it creates dynamic links between one or more alignments. And then create widening, what create widening does is it takes either a existing created offset alignment, or it creates a new offset alignment, and it, it takes a standard offset, and then it creates a widening off that offset. So you can have, for example, a 10 foot road, and then create a turn pocket at another 10 foot offset. And so the road will go from being 10 feet wide to being 20 feet wide using that create widening command. 